I think actually uh, Pramod should be the director of the Poets ERC. He did such a good job in introducing the, uh, the, uh, that center. Um, the, um, <coughs> okay. uh, a couple things I did want to say. So my name is Andrew Aline. Uh, I'm the director of uh, the center. Um, and there were a couple of things that were touched on in some of the remarks uh, before we go to sort of the next uh, phase. Um, uh, one of them was, it was a long process, uh, it is true, uh, but at the risk of speaking for uh, my team, uh, it was actually not uh, a bad one, it was actually kind of enjoyable. I think we enjoy working together. This is one of the things I think the folks at NSF, uh, when they've come and visited, uh, we say it over and over again, um, you know, it's, it's a good team to work with. Uh, I really enjoy uh, working with this team. We have uh, uh, quite a few ex-athletes on this team, and we know what it is to be on a good team and what it is to be on a not-so-good team. And uh, this team, it really has hung together uh, uh, very, very well. Um, and it's really been a pleasure to just sort of be the, the face and the front man uh, for all the hard work that uh, uh, everybody else has done. Um, and uh, when I say team, uh, there is the, the, the team of people that uh, 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 wrote the proposal and, and, and did the pitch. But uh, for something like an ERC, uh, you don't do this alone. I mean, there's this sort of statement that it takes a village to raise a child. Um, uh, it takes an entire ecosystem, not just innovation ecosystem, but an entire ecosystem to really sort of be uh, successful in, in this type of an endeavor. And what I'd like to do, um, uh, uh, there's a couple uh, phases to the next part of this program. In the first phase, I'd like to call some folks up to the, uh, the podium here uh, and recognize them for being part of uh, sort of getting poets to where it is uh, in its sort of nascent stage. Um, uh, some of the folks, uh, and there's the poet's logo. By the way, this is an abstraction of electron phonon interaction for those of you who are counting, that's it's supposed to represent uh, in a very sort of abstract sense. People ask, where does that uh, uh, visual come from? Uh, it's a computer simulation of electron phonon interaction in a cavity. Um, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, ask our uh, sort of federal stakeholders uh, to join me up here on stage, um, and we're going to do a little photo op. So as, as I call the names, I'd like to ask Promote and uh, uh, France to, to come on up, uh, because you know without the federal stakeholders, we'd be a really good team, but I don't think we'd have uh, nearly as much uh, uh, impact uh, as 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 we would uh, otherwise. Um, NSF has been uh, for 30 years. You've heard they've been laying down big bets. Uh, these are we want to change the world kind of bets. Okay, and. Um, uh, we believe in poets, we will actually be able to change the world. Um, institutional support. Uh, if we didn't have great institutional support, none of this would be uh, possible. And so I'd like to ask on behalf of uh, our institution, President Kalina, to come up and, and join uh, sort of on stage. Uh, 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 we're going to end up having an entire sort of uh, set of folks here in a second. This is where you break out the uh, cameras, the, the camera folks. The camera folks. Um, uh, and I can tell you, you know, uh, from the President's office on down uh, uh, at, at, at the campus level, the college level, the departmental level, uh, the support has been great. And the, the institutional support, not just here at Illinois, uh, but across all the institutions. I think we have three different department heads uh, uh, in our uh, uh, team. And, you know, they've pitched in and written and, and reviewed and presented slides just like everybody else. So that institutional commitment goes across all the different institutions. Um, uh, a lot of the academic stakeholders, I'd like to go ahead and, and, and recognize some of our, our partners here. Um, uh, we have that photo. Many of you may not know um, uh, from the uh, Howard University, uh, Sonia Smith um, is one of the three department heads. She's head of <coughs> the not Howard, sorry, uh, not leaving the um, uh, the, uh, the uh, mechanical engineering department at Howard. Uh, she's a, a professor and again one of our, our key researchers. Um, uh, from the University of Arkansas, uh, I'd like to ask Juan Balda, um, who's head of electrical engineering at uh, uh, the University of Arkansas, to, to come and join us. And then from Stanford, um, uh, not yet head uh, uh, <laughs> of aerospace engineering, Debbie Sineski, um, uh, as a sort of a partner representative. Um, uh, in addition to that, uh, we sort of have uh, federal uh, uh, stakeholders. Because without you, there wouldn't be the money that would go to NSF that would allow us to have. Uh, without you, <laughs> there wouldn't be. So uh, please, um, uh, we greatly appreciate the support that the federal government um, uh, provides.
provides to allow us as academics to do really the kinds of things that we love and the things we hope will, uh, again, go out and change the world. Um, uh, we are set up here to respond to a, 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 a technology pull. It is not a push. This is an establishing need. It's been pointed out already. And the industry plays a key role uh, in that. Um, uh, we have 12 partners and are talking to several more. I'd like uh, Brian Lammers on behalf of Caterpillar to see if he can come up here. He's the chair of our industrial advisory board and he's been working tirelessly um, uh, to, to, to make sure they're heavily engaged um, uh, and providing us sort of, sort of excellent uh, input. Um, uh, and, and last but not least, we actually have state congressional support. We've had um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, input and support um, from our DCEO office, um, uh, as well as uh, the other aspects we look at and sort of uh, uh, potential for, if not